Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time on a Wuben T70. Now I was sent this by Wuben directly, and I'm featuring this again on my channel because they're having a special sale on this item. Now when you purchase this flashlight kit here, they will also include an extension barrel on there so you can extend your run times absolutely free comes in this box now I did a review on this quite a while back the box has changed a little bit so let's go ahead and take a look here at the specs as you can see there are 4200 lumens on turbo that's a lot of light now, if you need more time to read that, go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise, we're going to open this up and see what's in it. Got a package here with the user manual here. We'll go ahead and take it out in just a sec. This is nice added some instructions here on how the UI works that is nice take this out here this I believe is the holster there's some more accessories in it as well got the o-rings you've got a USB now this is a type C charging cable helps you get quicker speeds in charging the light now you also have one lanyard and it's nice here that it comes with an actual feed needle so you can get it right in that hole and feed it through Let's look over the holster Again, nice quality on this, D-ring, double-stitched material, really a nice quality holster. Now I also like the fact that you can put an extra battery in here on the side. Now you're going to be running two cells on this, unfortunately you can't carry two extra batteries, but it is nice you can carry it with one extra battery if you choose to run with the single cell. Let's put move this stuff out of the way here. Open up this little bag. They said they have done some revamping on the packaging, and they sure have. And we have a card here letting you know some tips. Of course, you've got that quality control check badge put with all their lights got a little stamp there with the date of when it passed the inspection have another card here some warm-up tips there for you it's nice to see that they're including that kind of stuff especially for people that have never had their flashlights or new to the flashlight world now this user manual is definitely an improvement it is nice more like a little book multi languages so that's nice all right let's go ahead and take a look here at the light there it is And right offhand, you can table stand that if you wish. Now there's a sticker here 
reminding you to remove the little battery protection piece. And we'll do that now. Here's the charging port here. Nice steel bezel on here. A little bit of strike attitude on there as well. Land it all there. And the power button does stick out past the body a little bit there. Nice size for EDC. And this one here has a really nice combination beam. Style and design on this is very nice. A lot of heat sinking here along the body here at the top of the head. No knurling or anything. And of course the machining and finish on this light is excellent. So now let's go ahead and take a look here at the textured reflectors. This is running the Cree. XHP 70.2 LED try to get a close-up of that for you alright so now let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you this is a complete kit it only comes with one battery so we're going to use two different batteries for the double cell test. This uh, spring is heavy duty, dual spring. Well greased threads. This is the little piece they want you to remove. And here is the battery that it comes with, 5,000 milliamp. This is a 26650. This is a protected cell. This is a 20 amp. And it should provide plenty of power to run it by itself. Adds a lot of value to this. You can run other types of cells as well including button top or flat top which is very nice we're going to go ahead and grab the extension tube here comes in this box I'm going to go ahead and open it up and let's take it out that's what that looks like there We've got an exact match. Nice. I'm going to add a little bit of grease here. I'm going to go ahead and screw this on. It's already got plenty of grease on this end. That's what that looks like. Nice match. Let me go ahead and grease this up here real fast. Now once I noticed here, it looks like there's O-rings inside the barrel so there's no need to use one of your other ones so you actually have 
total of three extra O-rings once we add it to it. Let me open this up. Grab one of these. And it's good to put this on before you put the grease. So I'm get it all over the place. See there? O-rings on there. Now we're going to bring out some grease here. And this is the grease that I use here all the time. So go ahead and grab a little bit of that. And you can buy this actually pretty big jar of this runs you about twelve dollars on Amazon good stuff works well for me we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of grease here on the threads and we'll put the rest of it on the o-ring so it looks pretty even like that. Alright, so now let's put the cap on and kind of spread it evenly. A little bit on the cap from the other side of the barrel from the previous one. Kind of work it in a little bit. Alright. And that looks good so now I'm going to bring out the two batteries I'm going to be using in this test here are the eFest these are 3500 milliamp these are a 15 amp cell these are unprotected so don't recommend you charging the batteries these ones particularly in the light use a dedicated charger because there's no protection piece on the batteries now if you're using the single cell then you're fine using the protected cell that's included but we're going to go ahead and put these down in here as you can see these are slightly raised tops so that's why I can use them in multi-cell lights we're going to go ahead and put it all back together and that's what that looks like with it all together nice feels good in the hand now personally I think this is actually going to help even with the heat of the light as you use turbo not continuously but if you use it over and over a few times cycles back down to the highest output you're going to still have your hand down here it's not going to get super hot you could still table stand that that actually looks pretty sharp all right so now let's go ahead and go over the UI now the UI is pretty simple we're just going to click that to turn it on this is a battery level indicator here that will turn red and then start to blink when it is critically low and then you just simply click the button to go through those light outputs that being the highest output <laughs> it's a lot of light let me put it about right there show you the beam that it has very nice combination beam so as you can see here it does have a large hot spot a lot of bleeding around the edges of it kind of fill in the beam here towards the spill area now the spill area does have a little bit of a cutoff but it's not abrupt I give you a real nice combination beam which are my favorite that's the highest output again 4200 lumens now if you want to get to the special mode you can double click to get strobe and that is a variable speed on the flash and it is at the full light output and it is distracting 
double click that again will get you SOS now it drops the light output dramatically so it's not as bright now if you double click this again it will go back to strobe single click this goes back to the level that you had it on in the regular UI so it does have memory mode so if you press and hold to turn it off turn it back on it does memorize the light levels that you wanted and that's all there is to this light and this is a really nice idea help you get that longer run times now the only thing you're sacrificing of course it will no longer fit in the holster you can get probably a C type mag holder and that will hold that on there I still see those on eBay if you need to or you can get an open end design holster allow the light to go through it and then stop it here at the thicker part of the head so you've got options to get another holster but that's no biggie to me either you can put the lanyard on there if you want as well to help you keep you know keep it more safe from dropping it and that does look nice all right well let's wait no further let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the Wuben T70 long barrel now let's go ahead and get started see how it does water spouts 35 feet from where I'm standing Sixty five feet to that tree there. There it is on the fence. I'll just pan around here a little bit. And we'll go to the next level here. See how it does. Nice bump up. And this has got a nice combination beam, does really well. Tree of Life, making that 138 feet from where I'm standing. Got some really impressive range on it. Let's go to the next level here, see how it does. Really come alive now. Impressive. Seeing across the park to the playgrounds over there, both of them. That's impressive. Even making those trees way out there. Now it's making that tree behind the tree of life 238 feet to that tree. Really nice. Yeah, do a before and after here. Doing really good. Yeah really forgot how good this is now we'll go to the next level there it is look at that <laughs> and with this long barrel gonna get that added run time making the school there easily making the palm trees good combination beam before and after here look at that All right, let's pan around here, having a great sale on this, which is nice. Look at that 
cream. Tree line, fence line, look at that. We're gonna end it over here on the tree of life. Alright. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Definitely brings back memories. This thing is an amazing light, especially for its size. But now you've got it a little bit bigger, but definitely nice to be able to have that extended run time because you have the more power behind it. And this thing featuring the world famous Cree XHP 70.2 LED doesn't fail to impress. I really like the style of it. It's kind of grown on me here as far as the extended tube on that and it's also nice they're including it with the purchase of this kit. Now I've done a lot of reviews on Wubin products and they are all top-notch. The, they're not messing around when it comes to flashlights. They're definitely very nice solid build quality as well. Now some people might think, oh well you got the extended tube but you only have one battery that comes with the kit. You can buy the batteries separately. I recommend EFAST cells whenever possible as far as the 26650s are concerned. Make sure you get a button top or a slightly raised cell that way you can get a good connection between the two batteries inside the barrel. That's the only drawback I see. Otherwise, if you don't want to use the extension barrel, you can take it off, put the one battery in it that comes with it, and you're still going to get some good run times as well. So I want to thank Wubin for sending me everything here to review. Now, if this is something you are interested in getting, I'll leave a link down in the description to their Amazon store. That way you can get this. There'll be a discounted code as well. You can just clip it and save. And they'll also include that extension barrel for free. Normally a $9 item. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these woven lights flashlight kits that is to you in the future thanks for watching take care